You, you want to break up my crew two days before the launch? When we can predict each other's moves, when we can read the, read the tone of each other's voices. Ken Mattingly will be getting seriously ill precisely when you and Hayes will be ascending from the lunar surface to rendezvous with him. Jim, that's a lousy time for a fever. Uh, now, now look, Jack Swigert has been out of the loop for weeks. He's fully qualified to fly this mission. He's a fine pilot, but when was the last time he was in a simulator? I'm sorry, Jim, I understand how you feel. Now, we can do one of two things here. We can either scrub Mattingly and go with Swigert, or we can bump all three of you to a later mission. I've trained for the Fraumora Highlands. And this is flight surgeon horseshit, Deke. Jim, if you hold out for Ken, you will not be on Apollo 13. It's your decision. Oh, let it ring. No, I, I, I gotta take that. Oh, why? Because I'm on the backup crew. The backup crew has to set up the guest list and book the hotel room. Swagger. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I understand. Thank you, sir. <laughs>